So please welcome to the stage, John Clark. John, come on. Scary afternoon. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not often that a comic book fan has to prove he has friends. <laughs> so it's great. I uh, I was reading the paper not too long ago. I just read that they revealed the title for the last Harry Potter book. Uh, I'm not big into spoilers, but it was called Harry Potter and the Dead Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to read it. Uh, I I was reading right on the cover of the magazine. It had a big headline that said, Lindsay Lohan is back. Did she take the afternoon off? <laughs> Makes a movie every three days. Isn't part of you coming back you going away? You know who leaves the room, comes in, and goes, I'm back, a four-year-old. Because <laughs> they have no long-term memory. <laughs> I think that's the problem with Lindsay Lohan right there. People make fun of her, though, because they say, oh, she's an alcoholic, she's out of control. Now, far be it for me to defend Lindsay Lohan, but I've had shitty jobs. And I've had jobs where I had to drink immediately after leaving the office. But I have never had to make her be fully loaded. <laughs> now, three days on that set, I'm flashing my tits at Mardi Gras. Uh, so, uh, I was also reading, you heard about the Spider-Man musical? Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, Bono's writing it. <laughs> so apparently he's going to fight the Green Goblin, Dr. Octopus, and Africa's Foreign Debt. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> so, um, this is nice. This is like so being three tables away from the cool kid table. <laughs> this is awesome. I, I used to be able to hang out with the cool kids, but I was always waiting for them to beat me up. <laughs> was at every party in high school going, hey, how's it going? <laughs> No, it's okay. <laughs> it took me a while to figure out where I stood. And then I realized I'm C-3PO. I get to go on the cool adventure, but I do ruin it for everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> At every bar at last call going, I don't know why I want to order another beer. <laughs> We've had plenty of alcohol already. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> The fact that I just use C-3PO as a cultural reference, I think just on all sound not cool, I am. <laughs> and that's a level playing field, we're all one. <laughs> um, so I was in the comic book store not too long ago, like a week ago, and uh, uh, what Lee was saying, uh, there was this new Star Trek book out, and there was a sign under it that said, this book also available in Klingon. And I thought, man, all those years I wasted on Latin. <laughs> I told them in high school, too, I said, Latin is a dead language. Now, Klingon, that's the language of the future. <laughs> Stardate 345.892. They don't listen to me in high school. Uh, I love Star Trek. I'm still a Trekkie. I don't care how dead it is. I don't care who they put in the captain's chair. I watch it. And one of the reasons I watch it is because it doesn't even want to be cool. And they prove this every time they try to be cool. <laughs> First of all, the highest level of cool you can attain in Star Trek is William Shatner. <laughs> Did anyone see his game show? 75-year-old <laughs> man dancing around like this. This is your goal. <laughs> and then the next generation comes out. And uh, so, so they try it again. And they go, well, Riker, he's a jazz musician. And you're like, all right, Miles Davis, this is cool, I'm into that. What instrument does he play? The trombone. <laughs> they had five episodes where he's picking up Green Woman going, <laughs> Freddy, they just don't want us to have women. I think. And then uh, Enterprise, the last show, they put Scott Bakula on there because, like, hey, you can watch Quantum Leap. <laughs> we can get four years out of that. Uh, so they make him an athlete. And you're like, all right, we're, that's good, you're an athlete. What's he into? Water polo. <laughs> Does anybody play water polo? You only want to play water polo if you're naked and greased. 24 hours a day. You can't even play water polo on the Enterprise. The water's not going to stay in the pool. It's going to follow you down to engineering. Um, my favorite show was Deep Space Nine. No, that was the coolest one. 
And first of all, they made the captain black. Already the coolest thing they would ever do. <laughs> and then they made him a fan of baseball. Great American pastime. All right, we'll get a mainstream audience. But they went out of their way to say, and baseball's been dead for 200 years. <laughs> that was too many wedgies in the dugout for those writers. <laughs> you can hear them high-fiving each other. Take that, you guys, we killed baseball! <laughs> I'm still watching it. Still making my life behind the DVDs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm married. Which is stunning. <laughs> uh, my wife and I have a great relationship, though. Uh, the greatest thing about our relationship is she knows I'm never going to cheat on her. For me to cheat on my wife, I have to find someone willing. <laughs> That's statistically impossible. I was a hippie and I couldn't get laid. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, if you can't get anything from a woman on ecstasy, your options are limited. <laughs> More than once I heard, you know, I'm into free love and all, but we should just be friends. <laughs> Thanks, Mama Cass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been married about three years now. It's going well, but she's decided that we want a baby. Which explains why I'm here. I'm never going back. That's frightening. I came in the house one day and there were all these books about how to make a baby. I thought I knew how. <laughs> Turns out it takes 300 pages to write a four-letter word. <laughs> Smart crowd, I've been in some rooms where they spell it. <laughs> <laughs> she also quit drinking alcohol. She goes, well, I can't have any alcohol if I want to get pregnant. So if everyone who ever got pregnant had no alcohol in their system, the population of this planet would be 124. <laughs> and they'd all be Mormon. <laughs> Did you just say you want to get pregnant? I didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to pick on you. <laughs> like, I love you all. You're here. That's all I need. Uh, we just found out not too long ago that she is pregnant. Yeah, yeah that was my reaction to it. <laughs> Awkward silence followed by polite applause. <laughs> I came home and she went, I have a baby! I went, I gotta get a job! <laughs> uh, we went through all these tests, we started doing the ultrasound. We did the first ultrasound and uh, she thinks it looks beautiful. I think it looks like a map of Iraq. <laughs> it's all black and white and blurry. There's numbers on the side for no reason at all. I wanted my team of experts to come in and go, well, here's the head, Mr. Clark. This is where we'll start the saturation bombing. <laughs> we think we'll be welcomed into the uterus as liberators. Uh, then we have the second one, where you can actually see the baby, which was nice. But what they don't tell you is, that ultrasound doesn't stop at the baby. It keeps right on going. I saw my baby's skull. <laughs> And you know, I used to really worry about the burden of parenthood, but now I think my baby's awesome. <laughs> he looks like Ghost Rider. <laughs> Getting a big wheel immediately. <laughs> Top of a very steep hill. <laughs> I just hope it's a boy, because I don't know how to talk to him now. <laughs> Took me 30 years to get one. You put another one in the house? Spend the whole day going, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Buy some baby food? <laughs> you alright? Okay. You into Ozzy? Yeah, it's frightening. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't even know how to date. Like, I was bad. I, I don't think I could date today now that there are iPods. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I, iPods are great, but it's ruined the only dating ritual I ever had which was the mixtape. Woo! Yeah! Now that's what comic book nerds know how to do. We don't know how to talk. Or groom. Look at me, this is how I dress for a performance. This shirt doesn't even fit. Uh, the other part was, it was the mixtape was beautiful. It was an art form, and I, when I was single, I was a master at that art form. And any time I met a single girl, those were the first words out of my mouth. Hey, have you heard this band before? Uh, I'll put on a mixtape for you. 
Oh, you've heard them? Oh, no, you haven't heard their first album. It's on this, like, indie label. Nobody's ever heard it. I'll put it on a mixtape. I'll, I'll bring it back for you next Saturday. Oh, you got a boyfriend? <laughs> I'll make him a mixtape, too. <laughs> That'd be my weekend. I'd be on my hands and knees in front of stacks of CDs and vinyl and cassettes, working out some master plan to leave her with subliminal messages. Go, well, I'll start off with the doors and she'll think I'm deep. <laughs> Then I'll move it up to Prince, because I want to fuck her. <laughs> then I'll back it off a little with some James Taylor, and she'll think I won't leave after I fuck her. <laughs> iPod's great. I've had like three of them, but, you know, they hold 30,000 songs. I don't know how to make that smooth. I'd be walking up to girls going, here you go, 30,000 songs. <laughs> That's the equivalent of a college radio station. <laughs> That's how I feel about you. I think you're a B-level corporate entity run by 18-year-olds. <laughs> Would you like to blow me now? Huh? I dated a girl long distance for a while until I found someone in front of me. I called her up. I said, look, you're great, but she's three-dimensional. <laughs> I used to have a lot of dysfunctional relationships. I dated uh, this other girl who uh, used to whisper sweet nothings into my ear. She used to say, you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll let that simmer. <laughs> I'm a nerd of all things. I'm like, uh, um, I'm a big comic nerd. I'm also a big music nerd. I'm a big movie nerd. And I'm always trying to be cooler than the crowd by bringing in something else from another world. Like, I go to the comic book store and I, I walk right in the middle of the debate, like, who could win between Superman and, and Green Lantern? And I go, Bono. <laughs> I go, what are you kidding? Bono's not, not a superhero. He doesn't have X-ray vision. I go, yeah, but Bono's real. <laughs> they don't let me back. Uh, you guys have been fantastic. I'm going to uh, leave you guys with this. Um, I'm, you know, in my endeavor to be cool, uh, I grew this beard, for one thing, um, mostly because I wanted to look older. You know, it's working, because I'm 35 now, but I want to look 70. <laughs> I want credit for winning World War II. <laughs> Why should they be the greatest generation? Uh, I also had laser eye surgery not too long ago, uh, but my doctor said I was legally blind. Is anybody blind illegally? <laughs> Are there people walking around just going, oh God, I hope nobody saw that. <laughs> I can't do time. <laughs> you guys have been fantastic. Thank you for making us reason for it. Give it up to Jeff Sutton. Thank you. D. John Clark. D. John Clark.